The Boys introduces a plethora of superhuman characters that serve as villains to the main protagonist group, with Homelander being the main big bad of the series due to his overwhelming power and direct conflict with Billy Butcher. But even Homelander pales in comparison as both a villain and in his influence over the events of The Boys when compared to a man named James Stilwell who not only can be viewed as the main true antagonist of the series, but also makes Homelander look like a simple spoiled brat with superpowers. This video will go over some major spoilers from the boys comic series, but seeing as to how the TV show has drastically deviated from its main plot lines in favor of something different, it's unlikely that the events highlighted in this video will spoil the upcoming seasons of the show. We'll also go over how his character in the show has drastically changed as Madeline Stilwell, but how his comic personality and role as its main antagonist on the events taking place may still continue in spirit with the introduction of Mr. Edgar. Nonetheless, James Stilwell is the head CEO of the Vought Corporation in the comics, a heartless, calculating man who embodies the corporate nature that gives the financial backing to these various superhero groups under his company's control, including the Seven. He is also the architect of the worldwide popularity and perception of well-intentioned superheroes to the public eye, despite the opposite being true behind closed doors. His sole goal is to please the shareholders of Vought no matter the cost, even if it means throwing the numerous superhero groups that they have under the bus if they pose a threat to their bottom line. This even included taking Homelander out of the picture, who, in James's eye, was the biggest threat to Vought's true purpose, making money. Now, James Stilwell is the only person in the entire world that Homelander not only couldn't intimidate but also feared, viewing him more as a true monster than anyone else, despite the man not having a single superpower to his name. This is best exemplified by Homelander's ability to read people's heart rates, allowing him to sense their true feelings towards him, which tends to almost always be a deep fear of him. Everyone he has met has their heart rate skyrocket out of fear, including his fellow soups within the Seven all but James Stilwell, who doesn't have his heart rate increase a single digit, even when faced by an enraged, bloodthirsty Homelander. Such an apathetic, indifferent reaction to his greatness messes with Homelander like nothing else, showing him that James Stilwell is always the one in charge no matter the situation before him. One time, Homelander went out of his way to instill the fear of God into James by appearing in the night outside of his residence in full display of his bloodlust and intention to kill the man. This was after Homelander had begun his goal of taking over the United States with his personal army of superheroes and cut ties with Vought, telling them that they no longer held a leash on him. Despite having an unhinged godlike being right outside of his windows, James still was beyond unimpressed with Homelander's theatrics. Even at that moment, he was more concerned with how Homelander would get through the windows of his place without causing too much noise, as he didn't want to further irritate his headache. Once inside, Homelander did anything to get some form of emotion out of James, unleashing his pent-up rage toward the man over always having to take orders from him, despite having the power to kill him whenever he pleased. But rather than receiving an ounce of care, James simply remained calm and indifferent, his heartbeat the exact same as always to Homelander's shock. If anything, James was simply done with Homelander and his existence no longer keeping the professional mask as his boss and revealing his true feelings toward the soup by simply roasting everything Homelander stood for. He called out Homelander's lack of originality and inability to do anything interesting despite the great amount of power that he was blessed with, that everything he had done as humanity's most powerful being could have been replicated by the lowest form of life had it been given his same powers. He was nothing more than a spoiled, insecure child that should be beyond embarrassed for existing as the way he did. James even went so far as to mock the obvious reason Homelander came, saying how he could save his strength that he would rather just commit suicide by jumping out the window. This act of mockery ignited even more rage within Homelander, who came to get into James's face and unload even further the hatred he had for the man. Once again, this did nothing but slightly annoy James, who dismissed the outpour of emotions from the soup by simply asking him to just kill him and get it over with. This lack of care made Homelander change his mind by allowing James to live, hoping the atrocities that he would soon commit against the United States would finally break his wall of indifference. And with that, Homelander flew out of the office angered by not being able to do anything to penetrate his former boss's emotional barrier. After he left, James simply dismissed everything Homelander said to him, stating to himself that he would have watched what the soup was about to do 
if something interesting were to happen. But since he knew how predictable Homelander was, he didn't bother to keep up with his antics. He then went back to dealing with Vought's reputation as if nothing had happened. On top of being able to stand up and even put Homelander in his place, James had a role in nearly every conflict that took place in the boys' comic. He subtly orchestrated events with the main goal of saving Vought by removing all the superheroes that kept undermining its image, which included eliminating Homelander as well. He did this by leading Homelander down a self-destructive path of attempting to take over the United States and ultimately the world by pressing just the right amount of buttons on his fragile ego. Although such actions by Vought's very own superheroes would have hurt them in the short term, James was always looking at the long-term consequences of his actions. He realized that the unstable, uncontrollable members of Vought's superheroes were going to lead to its eventual downfall sometime in the future. So rather than having the corporation slowly burn to the ground, it'd be better to rip off the band-aid now and get it over with, and then move on to replacing its former superheroes with those that could be controlled far more easily. Now James's ability to stand up to Homelander and his role as a puppet master across the story wasn't the only thing that made him so dangerous but also the total lack of humanity within him. Throughout the comics, James is seen mentoring a young woman named Jessica Bradley. Not only does he help her rise through the ranks of Vought and give her authority over the Seven's actions, but he also personally comforts her. As a result, he becomes her most trusted friend. She even falls in love with him, and they eventually become sexually active. She discloses some of her greatest emotions while she is stressed to him, with her even believing him to do the same in return as on some occasions he reveals what she thinks to be some of his vulnerabilities. At first, it appears that Jessica Bradley was the one conduit of James Stilwell being able to express his humanity, in how outside the corporate world he isn't as heartless of a man, and that in his personal life he is able to showcase some of his emotions. But in the end, it is revealed that Jessica was yet another pawn to James, someone who he used as a fall guy to save his own skin when the time came. Following Homelander's attack on the White House and eventual defeat along with his superhero army, Vought came under heavy scrutiny by the public over its heroes attacking the nation. James, of course, saw this coming from a mile away since he helped to orchestrate the entire event from the beginning. As a result, he groomed Jessica throughout her career and put her in charge of the Seven, so that all the blame would be placed on her. Although she did her best to keep them in check and genuinely tried to change them for the better, James manipulated the media to believe it was the other way around, that James had warned her of the Seven's actions when he appointed her, and that she recklessly ignored his advice on them. Following this bombshell revelation, James was let off the hook for much of the blame on Homelander's actions, with it entirely being placed on Jessica. When she realized that she had been used by him, she fell into a major breakdown, pulling her hair out and going nearly insane. By the very end of the boy's comic, in the last issue, James is shown continuing his work as a CEO for a superhero company, though it is unknown if it is a reformed Vought or an entirely new corporation. Nonetheless, he is seen trying to create superheroes without flaws of humanity, making them simply no better than machines that took orders and served their corporate overlords without question. And with that, James Stilwell not only got away with everything in the end, but also continued his goal of creating a product that did nothing but produce a profit for the corporation he headed. In the boys' TV show, James Stilwell is portrayed by Madeline Stilwell, who, as you may have guessed, is nothing like her comic counterpart. Not only does she display genuine humanity towards her newborn, but she also comes to fear Homelander, two things that James could never do. Although Madeline Stilwell is killed at the end of the first season, her role as the corporate leader in Vought is replaced by Mr. Edgar, who so far acts as the true counterpart to James. Edgar is portrayed as both heartless and uncaring to anything that does not involve Vought's bottom line. He also is not intimidated by Homelander, even putting him in his place by revealing to the soup that he isn't Vought's greatest asset, that instead the formula for Compound V is. Let us know what you think of James Stilwell from the comics, and if you think Mr. Edgar from the show will follow a similar role as him in the future seasons of the Boys series.